everyone, I'm Lara from Go Simply and today I have a seated upper body cool down. So just a couple of quick stretches to go through to um, get us loosened up after a seated upper body workout of any kind. I'm just going to start my timer and we'll get going. Okay everyone, we're just going to start with an arm stretch right across the front here. We're going to cross, we're stretching out the shoulder, we're stretching out the tricep. We're just going to hold these for a little bit. Um, you should really hold each stretch for about 30 seconds if possible so that the muscle has time to really relax and let go. Longer is even better, but 30 seconds is pretty good. And then we're just going to switch and do that on the other side. So this is just a free flow cool down that I'll try to remember to put in the description box. I know a lot of you were like, you said you would put it in and then you didn't. And then I went through and I was like, oh, I don't actually have a seated upper body cool down. Maybe I should make one. I have some standing ones, but I didn't have any sitting ones. So obviously if you're doing a seated workout, you would want a seated cool down. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, now we're going to do a tricep stretch. So again, trying to get those fingers down between the shoulder blades. And we'll do both sides, so nice straight back. Just a little bit of tension with this hand on the elbow. So we're holding them for about 30 seconds. Um, I do have a stopwatch going, so I'm trying to pay attention as best I can to make sure they're about 30 seconds. But again, feel free to hold these much, much longer. And then we'll switch. If you have the time, stretching is the best way to say thank you to your muscles. They absolutely love it. Um, you do need to have warm muscles before you stretch them though. I mean, you can do little stretches, but if you're trying to do deep stretches, make sure you're not stretching cold muscles. Okay, now we're going to take those hands behind us and we're going to do a chest expansion so we can really stretch out that chest. Oh, don't these, they just feel good, you know? You get rid of some upper body tension. Okay, and then we're going to take the arms out in front and we're just going to push them out and try and get that upper back some space between the shoulder blades instead of squeezing them together. We're trying to open up that space. Oh, just breathe naturally. Okay, now we're going to face forward. I'm just going to take one hand up on the side of my head and just gently, not pulling hard, just gently, and I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to sort of imagine that I'm like pushing towards the floor. So again, it's really just the weight of your hand. You're not really pulling. It's just some weight. And just hold that for a bit. And then we're going to switch and do the other side. It's just a few more seconds here. Okay, then let's just give ourselves a bit of an upper body hug with the arms one way. You can sort of give it a little shake side to side if you want to, but you can totally just stay perfectly still. And then loosen that up and then the other arm on top. Excellent. Well, let me know in the comments below if you're happy that I finally made a seated upper body cool down. Give me a thumbs up, share this with a friend, check out the website www.gosimply.ca and I will see you in the next workout.